why is the camera over there? Wait, you will do it, Rava. Today, me, Malin, and Linda uh, are doing a new series because the UBS Play series where we are all together is over. Uh, I will still put up some. Uh, I have five. That's not five. Five palettes left, I think. No. Four. Four. I was correct. Four. Because I've already used those two. Yeah. I have four palettes left. And I'm holding up one finger. Ignore me. But yeah. This new series, as you may see from the title. If you have seen me change my titles, you are correct. Because I'm not pleased with them. So they may change again on my videos. But yeah. So this series is called A to C Challenge. I think, I think it was me who came up with the name and still I can't remember, awesome. Let's see, just to be sure. Yes, A to C. Is it called C? You know, your last letter, not our, because we have three more, but your last letter. <sighs> But yeah, A to C. I would say A to C, and that may be wrong, but that's the way it is. Um, and in this series, we are going to use different brands each time. And we have, how many do we have? 10? I can't remember, but we have a lot of um, brands that we picked brands that we all have palettes from. And this series will continue into the new year, I think. I think it will do that. And maybe I shouldn't explain this much, but I will do it in this video. <laughs> uh, we have decided on brands, obviously. And then we have decided, wait, just before I can't concentrate while I'm doing two things here. It's not my best day at being multitasking can this copy from my phone please copy from my phone i'm sorry i started focusing on something else yeah ignore me uh yeah i don't remember what i was saying but we have let's pretend that there are 10 brands just to make it easy uh, then we have decided that those brands where we have at least one palette in common we will do a palette bingo with order rules and I will explain what that is later if you don't know that already because I have done a lot of those <laughs> uh, but uh, that's when we have the same palette for um, uh, those brands where we don't have the same palettes we have picked shades for each other instead uh, so uh, I think Molly will pick for me two times and Linda will pick for me two times. Uh, so that is what this series is going to do. And as you may have seen, I'm referring to Molly and Linda as the ladies. So whenever it says collab with the ladies, that's Molly and Linda, you know. Uh, but yeah, so today as you may have seen from the thumbnail we are starting with anastasia beverly hills which is good for me since i don't use my palettes that often except the new ones uh, and we found out that we have six palettes in common which are these because i don't have soft glam and marlin has some of the new but linda doesn't have them and so on so yeah this is the six that we have in common so it's the modern renaissance it's the subculture, it's the prism palette, it's the, I hope you see okay, what I do, it's the Norena palette, it's the sultry palette, which I have not used, and the Riviera palette that I have not used, I think. No. So yeah, and the thing we are going to do is, like I said, palette bingo with order rules. So the first shade uh, that I will get from the random thing will be from Modern Renaissance and that shade will go in the crease. The second shade is from Subculture and that will be in Outer V. 
The third shade is from the Prism palette and that will be in on the lid. Right. Ooh. Don't do that. And the fourth shade, Norvina, is on the lower lash line. Then we have Sultry, which will be the inner corner highlight, which is going to be interesting since there is almost only dark shades. <laughs> and the last shade from the Riviera is, you know, you can pick whatever you want it to go. So that's exciting. And since it is a palette bingo with order rules, I have not draw, drawn, I have not gotten the numbers in advance. So I hope the battery will, you know, not to die on my iPad. So we'll see. I have already done my base. Let's see. We'll keep you here. Okay. So we have modern Renaissance. Why are you dirty? I always keep my palette clean. No dirt here, please. No. So in this palette. This is probably the one I have used the most, that one or the subculture, not because I like it very much. This is one of my least favorites, but yeah, the hype were strong. But yeah, from this palette, we are going to get the crease shade and there are 14 shades and I'm going like, you know, flip and then flip. So <laughs> let's see. And I have this. And I got number, can you see it? Number six. Ooh, it's a dark shade. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have love letter. And I'm going to take a very fluffy brush because I don't want it to be that dark, I think. Yeah. And maybe it was a bad idea to put on the base before. By the way, I've used the balm on the bronzer, the blush and the highlight. I used Mary Luminizer because it was such a long time ago and I really like it. Yeah, never mind. Oh, I'm going to get fallout because these palettes are notorious for that. And I usually don't... What's that called? Tap of the brush, tap the brush, whatever. Usually don't do that, but today, hell yes. Let's work it, work it, work it. At least this palette is good for you know. There are a lot of good crease colors, and there are only like, are there only two shimmers in this palette? Why do people love this? There are two shimmers. They look the same. I don't get it. And I don't mean any hate to the people that loves this, but I am not the biggest fan. God, this was hard to brush out even though I'm using a fluffy brush. Maybe if I do like And usually when I do this type of video, <laughs> palette bingo with order rules, um, I'm not always putting, you know, the shades on exactly like I want them, you know. It's easier to do when you know all the shades you have because then you know if you're going to put one shade more in focus than another. This shade was not that easy to blend out, I must say. Because it's getting oops, a very dark line in the crease and then there are a little blended around it. But that is not the effect I want. So I'm going to try another brush. See if that works better. And I have done nothing different. I use the same base as I always do. And I've not set the base or you know, or the primer, but I never do that. And it's not a very sticky primer, you know. But it's been a while since I put it on because I talk too much. God, this shade was hard to work with. 
Why do you love this? Why? I'm sorry. I don't like it at all. It's a pretty shade and I've used it on other places but not in the crease and it's freaking annoying. God, just taking a clean brush. God, it's hurting my hand to do it like this. I have to do it like this. Did you have in there, Oh, you're sleepy. Gumbali is sleeping. Now I'm just having the brush further in so I don't hold it out here. As you can see because it's easier for me right now. I'm mostly scared of the inner corner shade because since it is from Sultry. Don't turn. Oh I don't have much. I have to. Please don't die. Uh, but yeah, in the Sultry palette, because there is a lot of dark shades. And I'm so excited to see what Linda and Malin get. This is as much as I want to blend right now. So let's close that stupid palette and clean the brushes. Now we're going to get the outer V shade. Please be a dark shade. Please, 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 please. Let's see. <laughs> Don't die. I only have, oh my god, 12%. This is going to die. Eight. Now I have to close it so it doesn't die like that. Eight, right. I hate this game. I hate this game. Why am I always so excited? <laughs> Eight is Roxy. That's... There are two light shades in this palette, except the shimmers. Yeah, I guess I will be using my random shade for this, I think. Or maybe this is darker than... Oh god, I forgot that this is the subculture. Be darker, maybe. It all depends on the shimmers I will get. But it's a pretty shade. I love this palette, except you know, kick up and uh, yeah, kick up doesn't bother me um, because usually. The shades are very good, but the kick up in subculture is annoying me because I never tap off the brush, but I have to do it with this palette. And it's, you know, I just put it in a bit. What has happened here? Yeah. And you get like, I don't know if you can see it, but it's a lot of kick up. So it will, you know, you will. If you want to hit pan on a palette, use this. Nay, it slipped me. But this this is a very, very pretty shade. It's so pigmented. It doesn't go at all because this is a warm shade and the other one was a cool top. <sighs> yeah. Let's take the lid shade. Are you dead? No. And it's from the Prism palette. And we got eight. God. Eight. Let's see what is eight. Oh, it's a shimmer at least. <laughs> It's that shade, Dimension. I have not used this palette that much, which, which is kind of annoying because it's just my type of palette. Let's see. 
then it will be a dark shimmer there or oh, let's pray for a light in a corner highlight then I can use that Ooh, that was not easy I love the Norvina palettes much more because they are so much better in quality maybe they are the same formula I don't care <laughs> maybe they are but it doesn't feel like it god do you like that and It will be a lot of videos with this theme, you know, palette bingos with order rules, but I think they are pretty fun. So I don't mind it, but I'm just giving you a heads up. It's not like, oh, it looks like it has hard pen here. It doesn't surprise me because the shimmers in Anastasia's palettes these palettes get hard pan like that annoys me i don't know if you can see can you see that it, i already have hard pan look ridiculous then i get angry and have to destroy everything that doesn't like i say blend in very well with that shade but I'm going to fix it when I have all the shades and this is just the leftovers from the shade I used from the subculture palette Oh god, I have to fix that later. Or maybe I can use this. No. There should be nothing on this brush now. Like that. Okay. Kind of inter interesting shade. Yeah, never mind. Let's not look at that now. Now we're going to pick a shade for the lower lash line and it's from the Norvina. Let's see, and we get 14. Hmm. What is 14? The most boring shade in the palette. Passion. It's not allowed to name a shade like that to passion. It doesn't matter for the look, but it's not fun. Yeah, never mind. But at least you can't say that these shades are not pigmented because they really are. And if it looks like I have something on my lips, it's because I put on, um, you know, Colourpop's new liquid lipstick formula, you know, with the Disney Masquerade collection. I got Prince Philip. <laughs> and um, that was really nice. The formula kind of reminds me of Body Shop's liquid lipsticks. It's kind of moussey. And it was really nice. But then I ate and it looked ridiculous. And then I try to take it away and it looks like it's stained a bit. Ooh, I just painted my eye. Ow. Okay. The shimmer looks so weird. <laughs> yeah, and now it's in the inner corner. I'm so afraid. Don't give me a high number. What do you get? 
two. Yes. Can you see there? Two, I got two. It's a light shimmer. Happy. So the first shade I will ever be using from this palette is Curl. It's that shade. Can you see it? <laughs> yeah. Now we are going to put this on like crazy. Ooh, wait. The shade I have on the lid. Which palette was that from? Prism palette, right? Yeah, the dimension it, that it looks, you know, silver. It has pink sparkle in it. Interesting. Let's see if I can... Yeah, it has pink sparkle. I don't know if you can see that. That's kind of pretty. Because I can see it when I do like this and that makes it work better with the look. Oh god, yeah, I sprayed. Let's use this. I'm going to take this a little bit in because I do that sometimes with my inner corner highlight. So it's not cheating. You say you are recording, right? Yes. Mix it with that shimmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please get a color now for the Riviera shade. And please a matte, I think. Maybe we'll see. Does this also have shit in it? No, more like orange, right? I'm not good at shades. Oh, finally this is almost empty. Yay! Then I can use another one. Yay. You are going in the bin. Yeah, I'm going to use more from that shade later. Oh my god, it's empty! <laughs> Never finish anything. That is not the lid. And that is not the lid. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, empty. And now we're getting um, a shade from the Riviera palette that I can use wherever I want. Oof. And 11. And that is how many percent of the battery I have left. 8, 9, 10, 11. It's the super pink. Bahamas. I think I'm going to take this on the outer V actually. Not that it's something wrong with the shade that I have there, but I think it's a bit light. So let's work. I have not used this palette. Oh yeah. Have I been getting any fallout? I don't know, I don't think so. And I'm taking it a little bit over the shimmer. Like that. Ooh, I like this shade. So I have it here where it you know, create one shade, would mix with the Roxy shade, and then I took it a little bit over the shimmer, which makes it blend into each other. Woohoo! 
kind of cool. Well, now I really like this look. Now it's more me. <laughs> I'm not going to take it too much in the crease. Now I can take that stupid love letter and do that instead. Like that. Now I'm just going to intensify the shades. I don't I think I will cut that out, but I will be doing no sheeting. Like that. I'm really pleased. Now I'm going to take have a fallout. I have a little pink shimmery fallout here. <sighs> and something from my brush. But I'm going to fix that and put on eyeliner and stuff. Eyeliner. Eyeliner. And then I will be back. Now I'm back. <laughs> and I have a lot of drawers open. <laughs> but I have used the ColourPop uh, Insomniac liner. And this looks much cool toned than the eyeshadow since I used the eyeshadow on top of um, Roxy, the warm shade. But otherwise, you know, they are more similar. And then I used for the first time my Maleficent lipstick from Colourpop, you know, from the Disney collection. Maleficent is my favorite villain and it's a super berry lovely shade that goes very well with the shade I have going on on the lid. So now I'm going to close the drawers because it's driving me insane and I will be back. Like that I am so pleased. I really like this look. I would not have picked these shades together but now when I have them together Excellent. The only shade you can't really see is Roxy, the shade from Subculture. And like I said, I think it's a really pretty shade, but I will not have it in the outer corner. The, the outer V, you know that shade? Because it's so light. Um, but together with the pink, it's really cool. And since I was so lucky to get that inner corner highlight, I could mix that with the dark shimmer and then I put the pink on top of the shimmer. I would do that with Roxy if I haven't got that either. But So they kind of blend into each other. It looks like I have gotten some... I have some glitter fallout, but like I said, it's my fault for doing the base first. God, I really like this look. I wish it wasn't evening. <laughs> I'm going to work tomorrow, but I actually get to have one hour extra sleep since we are turning the clocks. And after work, I'm going out to eat with one of my new friends, Madeleine, um, that I met through YouTube. She doesn't have a YouTube channel, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> um, and we are going out to eat. And I'm so excited because they have such good food. And then we may, if we have the time, go to Sephora. Because I was going to order something. And just when I pressed order, it disappeared. I hate Sephora. Uh, but I hope they have it in store um, where we're going. I don't think they have. But I'm sorry. I really like this look. I don't often do looks like this that are very, I love cool tones, but you know, if I do pink, I do pink <laughs> or, you know, orange pink. I never do pink and then a silver and, you know, like that. And I don't wear this type of lipstick that often, but it's so nice. And Colourpop has one of my favorite formulas. I feel like Maleficent. I don't look like her, but I feel like, I feel like her. Now I want to have something fun for tomorrow. Maybe I should have a lipstick. We are going out to eat, then this lipstick will be ruined. 
I don't know, I like it. <laughs> I hope you liked this video and thought it was fun. I thought it was fun. And uh, I'm so excited to see what Marlon and Linda has done. I can't see that probably until later in the evening. But then I will have some fun videos to watch. So please go and watch them. They will be linked down below as usual. And stay tuned because next Sunday we will do something else. I don't know why I did that, but yeah, I just want to look m myself in the mirror all the time. It's too bad it's <laughs> 10 o'clock in the evening on a Saturday and I'm sitting here. Never mind. Bye.